All right, let's continue the attack on Washington with what few troops remain. General Hooker is reinforcing Fort Stevens with all his divisions. The Yankees are determined not to let us approach Washington. So this is where I wish I had more men holding the fort. Because I probably don't have enough to hold against his reinforce, his counterattack. Try to put everybody into the fort if I can. Or near it. I need to get some of these bigger brigades into the fort. an issue now. I've got supplies over here. Plenty left too. Oh, that's the supply for the fort. I gotta get these supplies over there because Fort Stevens doesn't have supplies. Pull Bane off the line, get a larger regiment regiment up there for now, or a brigade up there. I just gotta try to hold against this counterattack. So maybe this is how I am able to win the battle with fewer men, is that I take these forts, I hold them, and then I inflict a lot of casualties on the enemy. When he tries to counterattack, you've got twelve thousand, almost thirteen thousand more men than I do. Looks like I'm running out of room for all of these brigades in there. I may have to pull some of the smaller ones out. Just keep them behind the fort for now. Definitely got to get those supplies in there, though. All right, let's speed this up a little bit while we watch and see what happens. Keep an eye on his counterattack. Oh, there they come. Okay. So Barton's coming at me right there. I'm gonna charge into his. No, oh, let's not do that, because he's gonna he's gonna flee here. I gotta pull some more of these smaller units out to make room for the bigger ones. Come on, we need these supplies, guys. Barton gonna try again. When I want these fi 24 pounders firing on him here, if they're able to. Okay, let's see what he's up to here. I know Fort Stevens still looms large over here, and I'm supposed to take that. 
but I'm taking my chances and not marching out against Fort Stevens right now, thinking that I don't have to do it right now, but I guess we'll see. No, Preston, where are you going, buddy? Stay inside the fort, please. Where are my supplies? Did he take my supplies? Oh no, they're in there. Okay. I got too many too many brigades inside the fort. They can't all fit. Better resupply the artillery too. All right, seems like we're pretty pretty content to have uh, just a shooting match for now. Barton's the only guy that wants to attack. Doesn't appear much is going to happen here. He's just going to hold the line right here, which would be very hard for me to break through. Of course, that's not my intention because I've got a flanking force. So we're just going to let let this part play out. I've lost half my men, 24,000. And now Barton's gonna attack me from this side. What is that? He's like the one brigade that keeps attacking. I'm hoping this is all I have to do, except, of course, I've gotta take Fort Stevens, or Fort Slocum. All right, the flanking attack has started. Here we go. Meanwhile, our troops have made it to the west side of the city without being noticed and are ready to launch an attack. Of course, there's more forts here. Any remaining reserves will support the attack from the east side. Well, I don't have a an east side force. Fort Thomas must be secured. Fort Washington, which is very near to the city. 
Our final target will be Washington. Move on. We have work to do. Well, here's the problem, of course. I don't have Fort Slocum. And wow, am I outnumbered. Three to one I'm outnumbered right now. Not cool. I don't see how that's going to happen. Jeez. Especially if he's got defenses out on this outer ring here, which I'm guessing he probably does. Oh, yeah. Hang tight there, Macintosh. Man, this is an impossible mission right here. And once again, we're going up a hill. After crossing water and going through the woods. There just aren't enough men to get these jobs done. Especially now when I'm outnumbered three to one back here. Yeah, a little more than two to one now. Jeez. Oh look, he's getting some men into that position now too. No chance, no chance at all that I'm going to be able to do this. So I'm just hurling everybody I can at this position, but I know it's just not possible. So now we know that we need a pretty large flanking force on both sides to be able to accomplish that task. Honestly, looking at the east, it seems like this is the easier way to come from. Because at least it's flat here. Instead of coming up this hill right here. This is like the worst possible place to attack. So I think in hindsight, if I'm only going to have one flanking force from one side or the other, the east is the way to go, not the west. Because there's just no way that this happens with the manpower that I have over here. I'm honestly I'm just gonna sim this out just for the sake of getting through because I know I can't win the battle and I've got to make a lot of changes to my strategy I want to at least see how much more of the battle we will get to see without taking these forts give you as much of a preview as possible of what's ahead Yeah, east is definitely the way to go. So things I would change up to this point when I play it a second time is number one, um, not be in such a hurry to take Fort Stevens so I can get a better, more organized attack. Um, and then shift as many of my units from Fort DeRussi as possible to make that happen. Hold Fort Stevens strong so that I'm in a position to be able to go and take Fort Slocum when the time comes. And then if I only have enough troops for one flanking attack, left or right, I go on the, on the Union right, which would be uh, the east side of the city, and attack from there. Because the, the ground is much more favorable to attack from this way. Take this fort, 
and then march over and take Fort Washington, take the city. In fact, maybe even just go from here into the city, come up from this side, let him come to me, or at least have level ground to attack from. Because this, this is a terrible place to attack. So those are the things I would do differently that I'll go back when I replay it, but at least this way you get to see all of that, and maybe it'll save you one last time trying to play through it, or one less time, uh, because you can at least see the mistakes that I made the first time through, learn from those, and be in a better position the second time around. I definitely want to hear from any of you who have fought this battle and done so successfully. Let me know what you did and how it turned out, and, and what you would recommend. Uh, Maybe you'd recommend something completely different than what I'm suggesting is the way to win this battle. So I definitely would love to hear that, and I'm sure other people would as well, uh, so they know how best to prepare for this final attack. An hour to go, and I think this probably will be the end. Alright, so just a little information on the fortifications around Washington. Um, they call it Fort Circle these days. They're called the Fort Circle Parks. It's a, The National Park Service owns some of those today. So the Washington area, according to this, had 68 major enclosed forts, as well as 93 prepared but unarmed batteries for field guns and seven blockhouses surrounding it during the American Civil War. There were 20 miles of rifle pits and 30 miles of connecting military roads. Washington was probably the most fortified city on earth during the Civil War. These were Union forts and the Confederacy never captured one and indeed most never came under enemy fire. But they were still used to house soldiers and store artillery and other supplies. And of course, there's a there's a list of all of those forts, including some of the ones that we're dealing with here. Fort Stevens is one of the ones that uh, you can go and visit today. And there is a Battleground National Cemetery. Uh, it's uh, near Fort Stevens in uh, D.C.'s Brightwood neighborhood. And it says 41 Union soldiers killed at the Battle of Fort Stevens were buried in the Battleground National Cemetery, which is a few blocks from the site of the battle. And that would have been in 1864 during uh, Jubal Early's attack on Washington. All right, so this mission time's almost up. We'll see if that's the end of things here. The forts must fall. Yes, I'm aware that the forts must fall. I'm just also aware I don't have the men to do it. Did he pull everybody out? General, while our forces assault the city, we must prevail in the northern sector, then march down and destroy the last opposition. We have to secure Fort Stevens and nearby forts or else. So we, we don't even still have to have had Fort Stevens. The army will remain split in two parts and vulnerable, forcing us to retreat. Don't hesitate. So... This is one of those battles where you don't have to have taken anything at this point in the fight. That's really good to know, actually. So this is probably the final time, the final chance that you have to take the, the last forts. Which obviously means a uh, an offensive needs to take place with the men that I do not have. So I'm not really going to take the time to play this out because I don't believe I have the manpower to do it and I think there are too many things I need to do differently. So I'm just going to rush all these guys into a, a final glorious charge into the enemy.
But I definitely feel, for the first time, I feel like this battle's winnable. Where I didn't feel that way at the start. I think there's a lot of things you have to do just right. But it's definitely winnable. Just gotta isolate and destroy the enemy where you can. So, I'm not really gonna finish this battle out. Um, I want to go back and replay it and do some things better, but I, I at least have given you a, a first look at the battles for Washington. You can see what we're going to be up against, and I'll go back and replay it, and if I can successfully win it, I will upload a victory uh, video. I'm not going to play the whole video, uh, play the whole battle again just to let you see me do everything I just did, but I'll probably do some highlights and let you see kind of what's happening, much like I did with one of the other fights. And we'll go ahead and see if we can win the Battle of Washington. And I can talk through the strategy that I used to get there when that happened. So as always, thanks for watching. I would love very much to hear your own strategy. If you were successful in this, how did you do it? What did you do? And then we can all learn and we can win for the South. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.